Well, hello everyone. I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. How you doing today? I'm going to show you how to spice up your playing by adding some fourths and fifths. Let's take a listen. Just a little something I wrote for us to help us do that. started on it. A lot of the famous piano players like Bruce Hornsby and others uh, make a living off playing open fourths and fifths. That kind of sound. We tend to uh, think we need to play chords all the time, you know, three note chords, four note chords, and so forth. But a lot of times just that open fourth and open fifth really gives a nice sound to things. Uh, people kind of overlook that when they're trying to uh, improvise and play. Uh, just sit down and start playing. So we're going to look at that today. First, what is a fourth or a fifth? Well, if I start from a C and I measure up to a G, one, two, three, four, five, that's a fifth. I'll find one right here. That's a fifth. And I kind of penciled that in there for you, fifth. And by the way, if you want the sheet to this, I'm going to post it on my Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and you can have this sheet to look at if you want to play. So, <clears throat> that's a fifth, an open fifth. It's called open because listen to the sound. You know, if you played a full chord, that sounds filled out. And that's well and good, but sometimes that open fifth sounds good. Now, a fourth is one less <laughs> as far as distance go. If I went to a D to a G, one, two, three, four, that's an open fourth. Okay? And you have that sound. So I marked the fourths and the fifths on here to help you kind of get started, give you somewhere to go. Now I added a few notes when I played this. I didn't play this verbatim, uh, but this is written simply so those of you who aren't as, aren't as advanced can play this, and then those of you who can add a little bit extra can do that as well. Okay, so we start off with a fourth on the right hand, D and G. I'm going to play two of those with two and five, then I'll go to a fifth with my C and G. Okay? And on the left hand, I'm just going to add a C and an A on the bass. Okay? Alright, so that's our open fourth and fifth. And then... So now I'm going to go fifth here, A and E. I can also play it with fingers one and three. It doesn't really matter. Two of those, then I'll do a fifth there. Okay, so you have the fourth here, the fifth, and the fifth fifths there in that measure. The left hand is just going to go F, G, so we have a bass to play with it. So I have... All I'm doing there, if you want to know, I'm just going G, G sharp, A to C, and I'm rolling it all up. Not something you have to do yet. <laughs> just something you can give a shot if you want to. So there are fourths and fifths. All right, it should really remind you of Bruce Hornsby. I grew up with him, you know, and uh, all the songs he did. Uh, Elton John will use those open fourths and fifths as well, and uh, Ben Folds, all great piano players. So it's a great tool to have in your uh, arsenal, a good thing in the toolbox to have for improvising. So we move on to the next measure, and we have the fourth and fifth again. And I just wrote this to give you something to go on to get started with it, and then you can move on from there. Here I have just an open fourth from G to C, right? One, two, three, four. And when you measure the interval, because a fourth and a fifth is an interval, and that just means we're measuring a distance. You count all the letters. One, two, three, four, all the keys. You don't start with the first one and go one, two, three. You go one, two, three, four, count them all. One, two, three, four, five, four, fifth, count them all. The left hand's gonna go F, G. Okay, so let's do the whole line. Here we go. Do, 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 do. notes I'm putting in there? Newsflash. All I'm doing is playing the notes that I'm already playing. I'm just playing them again. And so that's called vamping or filling in. Okay? It's a really neat skill to have 
And the more you play piano, the more you'll get comfortable with that, but I'm just playing the notes I'm already playing. Now, what I did for this next part, if it sounds like any other song, it's not intentional. I just, uh, you know, every song sounds like another song, doesn't it? <laughs> really, it does. If you look long enough, you can find... I just went up and did something different here to show you different ways to play the fourth and the fifth. And I tried to make the song sound pretty good too, so as you're working on this skill, you have something nice to play instead of just a boring exercise, okay? So B, E, B, measure that. That's a fourth. One, two, three, four, B, C, D, E. Okay? And then you move down to A, D, A. So B, E, B, A, D, A. And back to B, E, B, C, G, C. Now that's a fifth, right? And I wrote them in blue there so that you could uh, see that and notice and recognize that you're playing fourths and fifths. The left hand is just moving up and down with an open uh, fifth. E to B, F to C, E to B, F to C. So we have... You can even go up an octave higher and go... Then you do it one more time. And then I made this just a short exercise. So you could uh, do this in the gear. All right, so I just have descending fourths here. And we start off with B, E. That little arrow just means roll it up, okay? So. B, E, and I'm going to play all of them with 2 and 5. I think that's the easiest way, I think. Well, no, you can use 1 and 4, 1 and 3 here and there, but... Yeah, you could go 2, 5, 1, 4, 1, 3, 2, 5, 1, 4, 1, 3, and repeat that. And then 1, 2 on the last one if you want. Or you could just play 2, 5 on all of them. Who cares? All right. <laughs> the left hand, I just put a note in here to have something with it. And so I'll move my left hand up with a G, F, E. I kind of start off, uh, you know, I go like a roller coaster. I get start slow and go faster, and then slow down at the end. And I have my open fifth here, F and C, with a left hand on a G. And then you can do an open fourth in the right hand, G to C. Left hand has a low C and G as a fifth. See, I didn't end on a C chord. That sounds not right for what we're doing here, right? The open fifth really matches that. Without the E in the middle, just that openness there of the, of the open fifth, open fourth, okay? So there's the ending. And then I went, if you want to try that, all I'm doing is going D, E, C. How many songs end that way in the 70s, 80s, you know, era? Where you went D, E, C, 1, 2, 5, and the left hand's just going C, G, C. You want to end it that way. So let's do it again. Ooh, da, 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 da. So, this gave you something there to work on to try to spice up your playing a little bit with open fourths and open fifths. Okay, so you play this a while and then if you like to improvise, maybe some of this starts coming out and the other things that you're making up. Okay, and we really truly don't make up anything. We're drawing from all the things we've ever learned in our whole life <laughs> and we're just kind of chopping them up and mixing them around a little bit. Put them in a blender and then do it a different way, right? That's all we're really doing. Um, so if you can incorporate this to your plane, that'll be great. Again, you can download the sheet. I'll put it uh, up. I'll post it on my Facebook page, webpianoteacher.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and uh, talk to you later.